Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at how to get cryptocurrency prices uh, using R programmatically. So Bitcoin has been trending up, a lot of uh, cryptocurrencies are trending up. So as a data scientist or analyst, you might want to analyze um, the trend if any coin is correlated with any other coin. So a lot of things that you can do, but it is not quite easy for you to do that until unless you have uh, some kind of uh, an API or package that you can leverage to get the prices and then start comparing them. So in this video, we're going to look at a package, R package called Coin Market Cap R. Coin Market Cap R is an R package, basically a wrapper around Coin Market Cap uh, website uh, and their API. So to quickly start with, first you need to have a Coin Market Cap app, sorry, Coin Market Cap API. So it's such a long name, I have to say it um, in a weird way. So first, let's go and then get the api so go to the website that you can click from here so i'll uh, link all these um, links in the description so which you can click and then go there so click this um probably i should do new tab so i'll go here and then it says get your api so i've got already uh, my account here so i'm just going to log in i'm going to say And once you log in, so this is your dashboard. Uh, this is what the dashboard looks like. So this is where you are going to copy your key. So after you copy the key, uh, the next step is if you do not have a log account, you have to create an account. It's very simple. They're going to ask you very basic details. And then once you give that, you can get the account. So this is how your API usage that you would see. So this is a basic plan. You don't have to pay anything for this. Uh, but if you want a premium, so you can go see how the plan billing looks like. Um, if you want, um, different access uh, so i'm currently running the basic which you can get it for free uh, free of cost and you can do a lot with this itself so there's a monthly limit there's a daily limit so once you have the api key which uh, we'll copy later so the next thing is you have to fire up your r and then install the package the development version is slightly updated uh, than the cran version so you can see the cran version is 3.2 and at this point uh, the development version is 3.3 so i'm going to install the development version so i'm going to fire up my r um, and then i'm going to say copy this uh, make sure that you have got uh, either dev tools or remotes if you're installing a package from github if you do not have um, then you have to install it so i'm going to probably make it big um, run it it's getting installed at this point you can see that it's getting installed so i might probably get my screen a little bit like this yeah uh, it's asking me if um, I want um, to skip all the updates. So empty line, skip all the updates. So it's skipping all the updates, installing the pa package. So while it is installing the package, uh, probably we can do one thing, which is go to the documentation of the package and understand what kind of functions are available. So this is the documentation of the package. Um, if you go to the reference section, you would see the functions that are available. So the first step is we have to set up the API key and then make contact uh, with the API. Once we do that, uh, then we can use all these functions to get the details that we want. So primarily we're going to look at one main thing, which is to say, uh, get crypto listings, which is to get all the crypto listing currently. And then we can also have a look at other functions. So at this point, uh, the package is successfully installed. So let's go ahead probably i should make it big i think yeah i should make it big so let's go ahead and then um, and then say library um, coin market cap r you can see what's happening here so that's loaded uh, and then i have to get the api key so in this case i'm going to uh, show the api key uh, please do not use it but i'm going to disable it so the api key is copied and i'm going to say my api key such a big name so i'm going to just call it key and then i'm going to save it and then for for just uh, for this purpose i'm going to delete it so you have to put your api key here so load the library enter the api key and then say set up so there's a code error okay um we can say coin market cap r setup and uh, then at this point uh when this is done we have successfully managed to set up our api key and establish contact so the next thing that we want to do is we want to get the crypto listers the available uh, cryptocurrencies so if you want to get the available cryptocurrencies you can say okay uh cryptos get crypto listings 
So if you do not want to make a lot of calls, let's say you want to just make a limited amount of call. So there is a variable uh, parameter that you can pass that says a uh, limit. So basically this parameter's default value is 100. So you can give 50. So, oops. so okay. Old API when no key is given. So I think I have to define the key. So let me just quickly say, it's my key. Yeah, I uh, request was not successful. The API keys invalid. Wow. Oh, because I have ran this. It's my bad. Uh, let me just quickly run my actual API key and then say enter your API key here and then set up again then run it uh, so you can see that there is a data frame with 50 rows uh, and you can see the 50 coins so bitcoin ethereum tether um, xrp which is um, ripple litecoin so you can see the coin name their symbol in which they are trading uh, then uh, their uh, name uh, and uh, the market value so what is the supply maximum supply that you can have like maximum number of coins what is the current circulating supply last updated date uh, and uh, then the most important thing is the pricing so you can see the pricing as well you can see uh, the price change in the last 24 hours you can see a lot of details if you want to know anything more about these details that we are currently seeing so the best place for you to know is go to your coin market cap coin market cap account and uh, go to the coin market cap website and uh, click that not not necessarily the api probably uh, the, the yeah so api documentation if you go to the documentation then it's going to load so this is where you will get to know uh, what are all the things that you are seeing and then you can understand it so let's quickly start it gives you the details about how you can do all the um, uh, authentication and other things so you can you can have a check at uh, this to understand the currency value all the information that you see if you get any error or whatever it is so we have uh, so far successfully managed to establish contact do authentication uh, get the crypto prices so there are a couple of other functions uh, that we can check uh, so quickly if you want to check one thing which is we can say plot top currencies so uh, i don't want to copy it so i'm going to just say plot top currencies let me just come this side um plot top currencies and then you can give how many uh, you want so i'm just going to leave it default so once again that throws an error um so it's weird so let me just quickly give k equal to 10 so there is an error so we'll uh, skip this um so it doesn't look like everything that we see might work properly um, but yeah so the next thing that we wanted to check is we wanted to check get global market uh, cap so market cap is equal to get global market cap let's run this Looks like my R Studio has some database issue, so it says the library is corrupted, so that's okay. But we have got uh, the market cap value. So what this gives us gives the entire market cap value. So you can have a look at. So it has got 26 variables. Maybe uh, we need to transpose this and then see market cap and uh, view this okay i didn't load wow amazing what am i doing um so you can see there's active currency cryptocurrencies total can you imagine there are like 4120 cryptocurrencies i wouldn't have imagined this uh, there are active exchanges uh, total number of exchanges and uh, um, total market cap and uh, the main thing where do we have uh, uh bitcoin no i don't see bitcoin here yeah btc dominance ethereum dominance so i don't know what these means i'm not i'm not a cryptocurrency expert but um, the idea is uh, you can get uh, pretty much good details here so if you want to do some kind of data analysis now you can um, you can open cryptos 
and then you can filter okay let me just quickly load tidyverse i don't want to i don't want to do this tidyverse okay um and then say oh tidyverse is loading still nice we can probably look into uh this okay and uh, filter uh, 10 which is uh, which will give you uh, the top 10 or i can basically say head 10 uh, which is going to give me the top 10 and in that i can just get the currency and then its price uh, select uh, c off uh, which is uh, the the ones that i want which are uh, name of the coin and uh, and usd price name usd price name name usd price so probably usd price i think is cryptos usd price where is usd price usd price this is the way to write usd price so we can take this uh, and then we have got this if you do not want a um, um, scientific name you can probably uh, deal with that so let's let's put it in um, a new full top 10 i'll call it top 10 uh, you can see the it's uh, the price uh, the attribute um, so it is a number so we can directly go ahead and then say top 10 and uh, oops sorry top 10 uh, ggplot plus geom bar aes i'll probably do geom call aes of x is equal to uh, name and um, y is equal to usd price and then let's try to run it where is the plot where is my plot my plot is here and uh, yeah here we go we got our plot uh, so we can zoom in and then uh, see what we have got in our plot uh, so anyone who is invested in bitcoin so this is um, this is an amazing thing um, at the time of recording this video elon musk is the richest person in the world and he is a strong um, advocate of cryptocurrency so it looks like others are not even being displayed because of the amount of value that it has got uh, again you can see that the x-axis is not uh, sorted by price but you can do all those things so the basic idea is um, of this video is get introduced to this uh, package that helps you connect with uh, crypto coin market cap re api and then quickly get the details and then ultimately um, able to do data analysis with uh, this crazy cryptocurrency that everyone is behind um, so yes uh, i don't think i need to leave any code uh, but uh, this information you can go to the package coin market cap r and then get those information so once again uh, thanks to coin market cap for providing this free api uh, which you have to anyways register but again um, it's it's generous of them to make this available for free that people can use for educational and um, learning purposes and for whatever reason is right so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise stay safe peace